Let's get into position for the six-way delt raise. We're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart, a slight bend in the knee, not locked, okay? We wanna have a neutral spine, and to have a neutral spine, um, that involves having a slight curve in our lower back, our lumbar, but not a big one, we don't want it flattened. So to do that, we're going to pull our shoulder blades in and down the back, and we're gonna just gently draw our belly button into our spine. You want a gentle abdominal engagement, but we don't wanna be like clenching. We don't wanna be super tense when we do movements. So there's like a fine balance between um, using our muscles to stabilize our torso and our body while we're doing a movement where our arms are moving um, versus being really tense. So uh, just keep that in mind, all right? Our hands are going to be hanging down at our sides, just as if you're regularly um, just standing there. So when you do that, your palms should be facing the side of your hips, okay? All right, and then last thing is just keep your neck muscles neutral. Try to keep them uninvolved in the movement. And while we're doing the movement, keep in mind you wanna keep a nice broad chest. So think about lifting the sternum, those shoulder blades, um, you know, back and down. Um, and so, because we're gonna have our arms coming out to our front in a minute, and that could cause us to kind of round in. So we wanna still think about keeping that nice broad chest, all right? Now to do the movement, um, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it and then we'll turn it into a nice fluid movement and not, not too robotic, okay? Hi, I'm Rizelle. If you're looking to get more in-depth tutorials on how to do home resistance training, these types of movements, you know, a lot of times the information we get, it's not very detailed. If you want more detail and you're a woman like myself and you're over 40s and almost 40s, come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com. I've got all sorts of stuff like that, including full length workouts using these movements. So from our hands hanging by our sides, we're going to lift them out directly to our sides to shoulder height. Our palms will be facing down. From here, we're going to bring them in towards our front until they're in line with the shoulder joint right here, okay? Again, palms are still facing down. From here, we then raise the arms up overhead so that now our palms are facing forward in front of us. All right, so that's basically the first half of the movement. Now we're just gonna reverse it. So back down to shoulder height, in line with the shoulder joint, then back out to the sides, palms are facing down, and then back down to our sides. All right, so let's just go through that a couple times um, in, in a whole sequence a little more fluid. So out to our sides to shoulder height. No, not higher than shoulder height, just shoulder height. Hopefully I'm, hopefully it looks like I'm at shoulder height. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, then into our front. Our arms are straight, we have a soft elbow, but our arms are basically straight in line with our shoulder joint, up overhead. If you have any pain up here, either don't do it or stop at a lower angle, okay? Then back down to shoulder height, back out to our sides, and back down to our hips. Now, you're gonna do that movement um, for your first half of your set. So say you're doing 20 reps. You're gonna do your first 10 reps, each one of those. So this is one rep. I'm not done. That was one rep, okay? So that whole sequence of six movements is one rep. So let's just say you're doing 10 reps, okay? You do that five times, all right? And that's the first half. Then we're gonna change up the sequence a little bit. So now we're going to bring our palms so that they're facing each other um, still. So they were here, but now we're gonna have them facing each other in front of our hips, in front of us. And now we're gonna do the sequence like this. We're gonna come up in front of us first, palms facing each other instead of being down, in line with the shoulder joint. Then we're going to come out to the side. Now the palms are facing forward in front of us. And then we're going to go up overhead palms facing forward. Then we're just gonna reverse it. So back down out to the side, then bring them in to your front 
in line with the shoulder joint and then back down to the front of your thighs. So basically the difference is, is that um, the way our palm is positioned when our arm is in different spots is a little different with the two. And so the first one, we're basically going out to the side first and then coming front. And then the second movement, we're starting in front and then coming out to the side. Does that make sense? I just want to explain it because it takes, it's just a little bit confusing. So let's just go through it a few times now, okay? So um, we'll do out to the side first. So up out to the side, to the front, overhead, back down in line with the shoulder joint, out to the side, down to hips. Let's do another one. Up out to the side, to our front, overhead, back to our front, out to the side, and down. Now we'll switch, starting here at the front of our thighs, palms facing each other, up out to our front to shoulder height, out to the side, up overhead. Reverse it, back out to the side, to our front, back down to the front of our sides. Now remember, when you're doing the movement, the goal is um, the only time we're going above shoulder height with the weight is when we go overhead. The whole rest of the time, we're just having our, our, our arm here in line with the shoulder. So if at any point I look like I'm not doing that, I'm doing it wrong or the camera angle is wrong, okay? <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Let me show you guys from the side now. So from the side, you can see the slight bend in my knee, uh, the neutral spine, and the difference between my shoulders just kind of like hanging here versus pulling them down and back, okay? Um, a couple things you can also notice um, that I wanna point out is when you do the movement, so look, go, out, go out to the side, to our front, and then up overhead, um, you're gonna have to work to keep your torso stable as you come to your front and go up overhead. So we'll talk about it in mistakes, but we don't wanna have, if you lose control of the stability of your torso, even if your arms are feeling okay, you wanna stop, take a short break, um, and then start again so that you can fully fatigue the muscles while still having the proper control of the torso, okay? So uh, here we go again, so out to the side to shoulder height, to our front in line with the shoulder joint, up overhead, only as far as feels comfortable with no pain, back down to the front, out to the side, and down. And then the other one, we start with the dumbbells actually in front of our tops of our thighs, right here, and we come up to the front first in line with our shoulder, shoulder height here, out to the side, and up overhead. Back out to the side, back to the front, and down to our hips. Thanks for being with me today, ladies. Once again, I'm Rizelle. If you're a woman in your over 40s and almost 40s like myself, you like my style of teaching, more in-depth um, demonstrations of how to do movements safely and properly, you like to see tutorials in beautiful outdoor nature spots, you like chill music, if that sounds like you and what you're looking for, come on over to my website at inspirefulwomen.com.